Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we got here to the second island or Boon Island. In this episode, we are going to at least start the start the era and that uh, Bill and Celia set us set for us. Ah, oh, by the way, that was a revive there. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is head over here. Now, where's Estelle gotten to today? She always brings me lunch every day around this, around about now. Hmm? You there, are you a friend of Lostel's? Have you seen Lostel around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lostel's a cutie, she got my look. So what is, wow, this guy's like way up himself. Also Lostel, you know, what a great pun, Nintendo. Ugh, God. A girl's lost, they call her Lostel. Hey! It is illegal to ride bikes indoors! How dare you! Who's this guy think he is, riding bikes indoors? Is this the only three island around here? Wow. Uh, this is two island, damn straight! Yeah. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. So you're telling me the only reason why we can't ride bikes indoors is because it's going to scuff up the floor? Are you freaking kidding? Ah, whatever. Anyway, what we have to do next is head over to Three Island. But first, we're going to head up here to Cape Brink. A uh, little something. Oh my god! Every time I'm about to do something, a wild Pokemon appears. They should add wild Pokemon to the Let's Play curse. Seriously, oh god. Alright, anyway, talk to this lady here. I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but will no one take it for future use? Hmm. Alright, so if you have Blast, or if you have your starter Pokemon at the front of your party, you can teach it this ultimate move. No other Pokemon can learn it, only your, only your starter Pokemon can learn it. So, uh, Blastoise will learn Hydro Cannon. If you have Venusaur, it'll know, it, it can learn uh, Frenzy Plant, and Charizard can learn Blast Burn. They're basically the hump, the uh, hyper beam of uh, water, grass, and fire types. So let's get rid of tackle because that's a pretty crap move. So basically, it has a power of 150, so it absolutely rapes anything. Uh, has an accuracy of 90, but you have to recharge it at the end of the on the next turn. So you're pretty much left helpless the next turn. You can't switch out. You can't use items. You can't heal or anything. So you, you honestly left utterly useless. Utterly helpless on the next turn, so that's the kind of price you pay for it. But honestly, it pays off, seriously. Anyway, now let's head over to Three Island where we're gonna go and find Lostel. So, for you know, for her dad, because he can't leave his work for his own god. Oh, oh I didn't mean to go to freaking One Island! Ugh! Alright, let's go. Alright, now we're on Three Island. Three Island Port, what do you got to say? I'll, I'll call the police. So you got these bikers going around you and you want to call the police on me? Ugh. Where the Kanto biker, Kanto rider fit? What was wrong with freaking Cycling Road? What's so very... Three Island Path. Yeah, this really looks like a great path. Ugh. Whatever. Alright. Now I'm going to put Mr. Mario at the front of our party because there is a bunch of biker goons up ahead and they all have poison type Pokemon. It's going to be great training for Mr. Mime, seriously. Are you the boss? Go at the Kanto right now. Ha, I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Gang of followers have been raising havoc on the island. Ah, uh, so basically this is just like a sort of a mini plot thing. It's, just, it's honestly pretty stupid. Basically, you just gotta take on three of these biker guys and then their boss. Honestly, it's really, really dumb. Uh, I'll probably end up speeding through most of these, or all these fights actually, because they're pretty repetitive. It's just gonna be me bunching. It's gonna be me fighting a bunch of coughing and grimers. Seriously. It is. What's your name anyway? Biker Goon. Sort of a name is Goon. <laughs> Who the hell would name their kid Goon? Anyway, let's. Skip through this.
Right, now that that's all over and done with, I've been watching you and I'd say you've done enough. What are you, their friend or something? Then I guess you'll be battling me in their place. Anyway, this guy's the boss. Wait, he's a freaking cue ball? He just had a red mohawk a second ago. Magic haircut. Alright, whatever. He has a wheezing. As we know, wheezing has a horrible special defense. Pretty goddamn good at standing up the physical attack, so you gotta give it that. Alright, and so yeah, he's, like, he's gonna have a wheezing and mock, so of course he has the strongest Pokemon out of all of his friggin' mates. Um. Yeah, Muck is a special, uh, one out of the two, so Weezing's physical and Muck's special, so... Which is why Psybeam didn't take it down. Um, I can't wait until Mr. Mine gets to level 43, actually, because we'll learn Psychic, so Mr. Mine's just going to become even more overpowered. <laughs> Alright. Alright, enough. We'll leave like you've wanted. We'll be happy to leave to see the last of this boring island. Why were you here in the first place if it was boring? God. And then they magically disappear. Anyway, if you talk to this guy, he will give you a freaking full restore. Yay. And what do you got to say? No, I'm not staying a while. Screw you. Anyway, uh... Bond Bridge, should he say? Some crap like that? I don't know. Anyway, let's go through here and pick up, because I'm pretty sure there's an item down here, so yeah. Alright, so we have three Pokemon at level 41 now. God, I've still got five Pokemon, oh well. Anyway, down here's a Zinc. Uh, what do you want to say? Hey, hey come here! Throne is actually the most populous of the islands here. Still, it could be less sleepy, but I wouldn't want to see those bikers here again. Oh, uh, whatever. Bond Bridge, okay, I was right, wow. Uh, is there any items? No, I don't think there is. <laughs> Alright, so any item there? Oh, I thought there would be. Ah, well. Really? A level 29 Pidgey. It should have evolved 11 levels ago. Uh, ah, well. Arcanine is good at killing things like that. Alright, yeah, ah, uh, that's a double battle there. Ah, uh, you can easily skip it like I did just there. Oh, wait, there's gotta be a hit. Oh, come on! Oh my god! Another Pidgey. Level 30. Level 32! God. Yes! Alright, it's a max repel. Actually, let's use that right now. Screw our Pokemon, seriously. Where the hell are our repels? Ah, oh, there they are. Oops. Alright. Where are you up here doing such a hurry? I am looking for a little girl. That look that sounds horribly, horribly bad, but anyway. She has a bulb a level 36 bulbasaur! Really? Should have evolved in a freaking Venusaur by now! Why would you have a level 36 Bulbasaur? Ah, God. Alright, Ivysaur's next. Level 36, I bet. Yep. That should be a Venusaur too, but uh, at least that's not so bad. I can deal with that, I guess. Alright. I bet she's got a Venusaur. Alright, another Ivysaur. What's with the people around here not evolving their Pokemon? Seriously. She has two level 36 Ivysaurs and a level 36 Bulbasaur. <sighs> Youngsters these days. Wow, you survived that and you're using Sweet Scent on me. Oh, God, I still can't get over that. Not evolving your Pokemon. She could have had three Venusaurs there. That is, That would be an awesome team. Come on. Alright, level 40. You're raising some wonderful- you would- you would be raising some good Pokemon if you actually evolved them. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut the episode off right here. So next time in Pokemon Fire Red, we're gonna head into the Berry Forest, which is just up ahead. By the way, I'm probably gonna battle all the trainers off screen here. So yeah, anyway, see you guys then.